are India and Russia racing to the moon's south pole with their respective missions, Chandrayaan-3 and Luna-25. Yes, both missions are scheduled to land on the moon in August 2023. Chandrayaan-3 is a lunar exploration mission by the Indian Space Research Organization, ISRO. It consists of a lander named Vikram and a rover named Pritian. The lander will touch down at a site in the south polar region of the moon, while the rover will explore the surrounding area. Luna 25 is a lunar lander mission by the Russian space agency Roscosmos. It will also land in the south polar region of the moon. The lander will carry a variety of scientific instruments to study the lunar surface and atmosphere. Why only the South Pole of the Moon? The South Pole is thought to be rich in water ice, which could be a resource for future human exploration of the Moon. Comparing Chandrayaan-3 and Luna-25. Chandrayaan-3 is supposed to land on August 23, 2023. Its landing site is the South Pole of the Moon. The lander mass of Chandrayaan-3 is 3,900 kilograms and is carrying 13 scientific instruments and a rover. Whereas, Russia's Luna-25 is supposed to land on August 22, 2023, which is a day in advance than Chandrayaan-3. Just like Chandrayaan-3, Luna-25's landing site is also the south pole of the moon. The lander mass of Luna-25 is 1,750 kg which is 2,150 kg less than Chandrayaan-3's lander mass. Luna-25 is carrying eight scientific instruments without a rover. Overall, Chandrayaan-3 is a more ambitious mission than Luna-25. It is carrying more scientific instruments than a rover, and it is landing in a more challenging location. However, Luna 25 is a more recent mission, and it is possible that it has benefited from technological advances that have not been incorporated into Chandrayaan-3. Only time will tell which mission will be more successful. However, the successful landing of either mission would be a major milestone for space exploration. The scientific goals of Chandrayaan-3 and Luna 25 The scientific goals of Chandrayaan-3 and Luna 25 are similar and include to search for water ice in the south polar region of the moon to study the geology and composition of the lunar surface to investigate the lunar atmosphere and its interaction with the solar wind to study the lunar gravity field and its implications for the formation and evolution of the moon to conduct other scientific experiments that will help us to better understand the moon the South Pole of the Moon is a particularly interesting region because it is thought to be rich in water ice. Water ice is a valuable resource for future human exploration of the Moon, as it could be used for drinking, growing food, and producing rocket fuel. The geology and composition of the lunar surface can also tell us a lot about the history of the Moon. By studying the rocks and minerals on the surface, we can learn about the formation and evolution of the Moon as well as the impact of meteorites and other celestial bodies. The lunar atmosphere is very thin, but it is still important to study. The atmosphere can affect the way that the moon's surface is exposed to solar wind, and it can also play a role in the formation of lunar dust. The lunar gravity field can also tell us a lot about the moon. By studying the gravity field, we can learn about the internal structure of the moon, as well as the distribution of mass on the surface. It is not clear which mission will land first, but both are expected to be successful. The successful landing of either mission would be a major milestone for both India and Russia and would help to pave the way for future lunar exploration. The scientific experiments that will be conducted by Chandrayaan-3 and Luna-25 will help us to better understand the moon and its environment. This knowledge will be essential for future human exploration of the moon and it will also help us to better understand the history and evolution of our solar system. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more such interesting videos. Your subscription means a lot to us, and it helps support our efforts to continue producing high-quality content that you love. We look forward to having you as a valued subscriber.